Even though your pet's really sick today, um, antibiotics may not be the best choice. This may be a self-limiting uh, disease where given time, Fido will get better on his own. Uh, it could be that this is a viral disease and antibiotics are not going to treat a viral disease. So we are only gonna prescribe them for Fido if we feel that an antibiotic is gonna be appropriate for his disease currently. It would be great if antibiotics were a magic cure for our pets, but we need to be judicious and careful in how we use them because we don't want to cause what's called antibiotic resistance, where we expose these pets to antibiotics and over the course of time, the bacteria learn to resist these antibiotics and fight against them. So they no longer do the job we need them to do. Um, so we're very careful with how they use them to avoid that. And also if we're prescribing antibiotics when it's not needed, we run the risk of making your pet sicker. If one of your other pets happens to have medication left over from a previous bacterial infection that was treated, we don't want to use those antibiotics for your pet's current illness. We don't know if it's the right antibiotic to use. Those medications may be expired and no longer effective, or it could actually make the problem worse for your pet. So we want to avoid using on-hand medications and follow what was given to us by our veterinarian. So the best way you can help your pet is following the directions you were given for your pet by your veterinarian. Whether they are giving you a restricted exercise regimen for an injury to a knee, or say we need to change a diet because they have been having diarrhea and it's gonna to respond to fiber, or they have a food allergy that's actually causing their diarrhea. Uh, so you're gonna to listen to them. Um, if anything changes, you need to call your veterinarian and inform them that it's changed because we may need to reevaluate and change how we're treating your pet. And also you wanna make sure you give them lots of snuggles and time so you can help them feel better. With your help, we can keep antibiotics useful for both animals and humans.